the title of my talk today is Urban Design and Nurturing Cities. As we know, for Mori Group, uh, in terms of the development concept, and uh, we have the vertical garden city concept, and uh, we effectively integrate the land resources. We combine different uh, uses and uh, functions, for example, office, uh, and also like the commercial retailing, uh, and also uh, educational purpose, etc. And uh, uh, along the vertical access, uh, we integrate those different functions. Uh, then uh, we have a, a very good kind of a super tall, uh, you know, kind of a monolithic building, uh, and uh, supported by a host of uh, amenities in the surrounding area. Uh, actually, we think that when we complete construction of this kind of uh, a cluster, you know, that is only the beginning, not the end, because uh, for urban space, it is intended to provide good support to the citizens that are actively engaged uh, in the uh, utilization of the urban space, so we can achieve like the sustainable uh, development going forward. So, based on our own uh, practices and experiences, the Mori Group has been, you know, really uh, committed to developing uh, this kind of uh, uh, idealistic uh, urban uh, patterns. So uh, we uh, would like to actually to uh, develop uh, very good kind of uh, uh, cities like uh, Mr. Mori. Uh, that is the very important, you know, pioneers of the Mori group. Uh, and uh, in 1930s, we uh, could go back to the very uh, history of those uh, concepts honored by uh, Mr. Mori. And as we know that, like the uh, culture, the layer, uh, the residential function, so those different purposes of the building in urban space are integrated into a urban complex. So within like a walking distance, and the citizens are able to enjoy uh, different uh, functions that the buildings deliver. In a, with reintegration of those land resources uh, to rationalize the plot size to avoid the you know high density of the buildings, making sure that on the ground level we have a very green space where people can have fun, people can meet each other. But in the meantime, uh, to make sure the citizens are able to really uh, have fun and enjoy themselves uh, in an idealistic kind of uh, urban space. So this is a vision that Murray Group uh, pioneer really uh, sketched. So based on the uh, real you know, needs and a realistic kind of a demands on the ground uh, for different cities like uh, Tokyo and uh, Shanghai, the Mori Group are continuously challenging new possibilities in order to uh, realize the goal of uh, building an ideal uh, urban town. You know, for each building, they're not an organic, independent silo, but rather, you know, we give full consideration to the uh, real function of the buildings, and uh, we also effectively utilize the streets, and uh, we uh, develop a organic ecosystem. Uh, including those different buildings. As we know, in 08, we have like the Shanghai uh, Global Financial Center. We also have like the uh, kite in uh, Tokyo. So actually, in order to address some urban challenges that Tokyo uh, faces, for example, this kind of a uh, urban uh, sprawl, so that the skyline uh, looks not very good, and also the traffic jam, and also it uh, takes a long time uh, for people to commute from their home to the office, and the heat island effect, and also the uh, car exhaust, uh, that gives rise to uh, exacerbation of the urban environment and the global warming. So all those are challenges we need to address. So Mori Group actually put forward a, a holistic kind of a design methodology. First, for monolithic building, uh, it is not good enough to build a urban network consisting of the green elements uh, and the vegetations. So we have to put our uh, study in a larger context. We look at like the entire area, not uh, only one building. Uh, then we can do a development of the uh, district and a redevelopment of those urban regions. So we can go beyond the shackles around the monolithic independent building. So we can really have a, a network that is the organic uh, fabric. For a uh, Mori uh, group, you know, from uh, plots to blocks, uh, you know, we actually start to think in a blank piece of a paper. Then we try to do some verification of development patterns. You know, we use those, you know, drawings and uh, models, which help us to discuss on the future blueprint for future cities. You know, we, uh, you know, use like the kind of a fourth phase, uh, kind of a four hectare a block pattern. 
And uh, we also consider like the privacy a uh, concern uh, of different monolithic buildings. So with a, a very good urban scale, uh, we try to measure like the constituency uh, of the uh, urban functionalities, uh, the composition, uh, and also the possibility to build an entire organic network. And as a private sector company, Mori Group also work closely with authorities from the government and academic institutes. So we try to uh, cover different areas in Japan, like the Akasaka area, etc. So Mori a group really wants to combine urbanism with culture, with culture. So here, I would like to uh, emphasize on this kind of a, a broad a range of design elements uh, of the urban uh, land. We no longer simply divide the land purposes into different types, but rather we have like the blending of uh, uses and uh, purposes for land. In uh, some area, may be uh, predominated by uh, office function, supported by retail uh, commercial uh, function, or you know uh, we can design uh, the dominant residential function, also supported by other you know auxiliary functions. So the concept of a mixed use is very important for Murray Group, and uh, we try to cover like you know green space, culture, and uh, art. And uh, we try to maximize not only the ground space but also the spaces up high in the sky, so we can, uh, you know, build like the new uh, kind of a vertical garden city. Uh, we follow like uh, the seven uh, different methods. First, uh, we uh, look at the, uh, you know, big picture, like the entire uh, blocks. And then uh, we, uh, you know, really go beyond the traditional limits. We uh, look at, you know, versatile functions, for example, uh, like education, uh, retail, commercial uh, retailing, and also uh, medical service, et cetera. We also want to improve the plot size, you know, to better utilize the spaces available. In a second, of course, uh, we need to make sure the disaster uh, proof capability could be guaranteed, especially to, for example, fend off earthquakes to guarantee the safety and the security uh, of the blocks. So we have different types of uh, possible uh, natural disasters. So we also uh, design some evacuation uh, system uh, in the urban uh, areas. Uh, we make sure we have like the shelter uh, in the refuge uh, areas where people can actually flood in uh, upon disasters and you know, to find the shelters. And uh, we also have like the uh, secondary uh, redundant uh, power supply. If the external uh, power system is cut off, uh, we can still have this redundant uh, power supply system up and running. So this is a on the ground kind of a de-energizing a center that is able to supply power upon disasters. And a third, the podium base in the active development of an underground space uh, and also like the uh, second story, uh, you know, pedestrian uh, space. And as we know, we want to create like the second artificial uh, ground on uh, level two uh, with a very good green space put in place. And uh, we also try to bring in a very good lighting uh, and the ventilation to the basement and underground space as well. Four, uh, we pay attention to biodiversity in a good ecosystem. We uh, utilize advanced energy saving uh, techniques. Uh, and uh, we also try to develop a stereoscopic or three dimensional greening on rooftop and also on the ground or even on the ground. So we can create a symbiosis between people and the environment. Fifth, we integrate like the road functions and uh, we develop like the uh, big community uh, in the blocks and uh, we consider the flow line uh, of the traffic uh, in the pedestrians uh, you know in rethinking about those elements uh, we try to reconstruct uh, like the infrastructure facilities and uh, we try to bring uh, those parks and the squares and a plaza into full play so that we have open space for citizens to have a fun and uh, then next uh, we need to improve like the uh, transportation networks and we need to uh, effectively utilize the land to separate uh, you know automobile flow from the people flow and we also need to guarantee uh, that for those uh, kind of uh, you know underprivileged uh, and uh, handicapped uh, we can also you know create a convenience for them uh, then uh, we need to create a vertical city uh, we need to uh, utilize the regional characteristics uh, in creating uh, effective uh, space for people to use we need to integrate uh, the you know kind of a spaces uh, in the sky with uh, this kind of a ground space 
in innovation uh, on his vertical city campaign. As we know, in 03, uh, we have like a new town in uh, Tokyo. And in, in uh, 08 in Shanghai, we also have the Global Financial Center, which is also a typical example of the Mori Group's effort. Uh, if we look at Shanghai, the overall uh, kind of a uh, design uh, in operations, uh, ever since 05, you know, Mori Group uh, already suggested to competent authorities in China about like the Lu Jiazui area, that is the financial CBD area, uh, a, a stereoscopic 3D system to separate pedestrians from automobile flow. And then uh, we try to build an elevated ring structure, kind of a walkway uh, for pedestrians that separate uh, pedestrians from the automobiles that are running past, uh, you know, on the first floor. The next, the key message of my talk today, as we know that uh, cities are very important. We need to nurture and uh, cultivate uh, these kind of uh, innovative cities. So we need to create and uh, nurture uh, cities. You know, over time, the cities uh, are supposed to be more and more prosperous. We need to do very good design for that to achieve that purpose. Uh, as we know, uh, Ms. Gigi uh, from Mori Group also put forward a new uh, concept of the comprehensive way of uh, management of uh, cities by uh, creating and uh, developing cities so both companies and uh, people living and working in the cities will be full of energy. As we know that to build a kind of a good town, three elements are indispensable, namely uh, industry, uh, then uh, the facility, uh, and also operation. So we hope that we can really build a strong uh, town brand because the branding uh, is vital to a, a very good town. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, for Mori Group, uh, we train our employees, especially those security personnel uh, and, uh, you know, cleaning, uh, you know, staff. In uh, our new town in Tokyo, in the financial center in Shanghai, you know, we continuously uh, provide training to our employees. And the second, uh, we also try to, for example, use some media uh, to disseminate knowledge and message around the town. And uh, we can uh, really, you know, for example, on a yearly basis, organize uh, some events. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, in the Tokyo New Town, uh, we have, like, a lot of uh, people that are concentrated in the Tokyo New Town. And uh, how can we use this kind of a town and the blocks as a media and a carrier to really, uh, you know, communicate some messages? Sometimes it is a good platform for advertising as well. The next, we think that for redevelopment projects, it may put a dent in the original community uh, in a town. But actually, we have like the existing property owners, and we have new residents coming into this community. We also have the employees in the white corners, uh, you know, working uh, in the office buildings uh, in the vicinity. And uh, we actually form uh, a like kind of a support group. Uh, consisting of those uh, stakeholders that are directly connected to this community and uh, these different people, stakeholders in the support group will work with each other uh, in, you know, providing like the disaster prevention trail uh, and also to talk about like the agricultural uh, knowledge exchange, etc. Traditional festivals and cultural events and even a farmer's market and so on. We have all kinds of community events taking place. Mori Building attaches importance to the three themes, as I list here, safety and security, environment and greenery, culture and art. And I briefly mentioned that completion of the construction and the residents moving in is not the end. We believe it's only the beginning of the community and its operation. In year 2003, our Mori community had had its sixth anniversary in Tokyo and we believe we do not just create a block, a community. Together we need to operate this community together. We are thinking about ten years from now and fifty years from now in these new communities in Tokyo and in Shanghai, we will still be attractive to resources and people. So we believe these new towns we develop will become and maintain its charm as vertical 
City Gardens. And the next project I would like to share with you is a new project. That's a new landmark in Tokyo. It's called the Hills. The photos are not very clear, but it's a very special project. It's a ring road. It's ring road number two in Tokyo, which is a main road in Tokyo City, and it goes it goes underneath the hills new town. That is to say, this new town is above this road, and. As I mentioned, we had other new town projects in Japan already, and at that time we made a skywalk on the second floor, a double deck skywalk, and it was not easy to get official approval for this project. So it is about having vertical garden and Roads and this project demonstrated a great progress in this regard. So the Toranomo Hills project is such a new concept, such a new idea. With all these new technologies and concepts, that elevated ring road would never have become reality. So it is an epic project. And for summary, let me mention three ideas. First of all, about the city operation and ad administration, we believe the broad urban planning is the essence of the city. And secondly, we need to pay attention to energy efficiency in city operation. In China, now we are talking about smart administration as well as the combination of urbanization and industrialization. There will be great trends in future. And thirdly, about the soft power of the government, the soft power of the city's man management, we believe comprehensive management is important for operating the city. That's all I have to say. Thank you.